Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have this kind of different 5x7 card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to create my background first. I have a piece of 5x7 watercolor cardstock here and I'm going to mist it with some water so that I can get my color to kind of move. And then I brought in three colors of Distress Oxide Sprays. I have Seedless Preserves, Salvage Patina, and Villainous Potion. I'm going to kind of work between those three colors and then I'm going to bring in some water to get a little more movement. And I do kind of lose my salvage patina there for a second, but I will fix that uh, once we dry this layer. And originally when I first made this, I honestly thought that I was going to trim this down and I was going to make some ATCs with it. Um, but I loved it too much to actually cut it apart. So I decided to make a five by seven card instead, which is pretty rare for me. I don't generally make five by seven cards for some reason. I tend to do like slim lines and A2 usually, but five by seven can be a lot of fun too. So I am going to leave this uh, together, although my intention was to kind of cut it apart once I finished the background. However, I loved how the background came together, so I ended up changing my mind. And you saw me bring in a piece of paper towel there just to kind of blot off some of the excess ink that was pooling at the bottom and the top where the colors kind of had started to go because the cardstock bowed a little bit. Um, but I did come back in and I'm going to add a little more salvage patina across the cardstock. Uh, and you can see that it kind of just gets absorbed right away. This cardstock is kind of funny that way. Uh, it doesn't like the color to sit on top. It kind of absorbs it really quickly which is fine. It's just something you have to be a bit aware of. Uh, and then I brought in two colors of mica spray. I think they're both from this year, but I could be, I guess it's last year now. Oh boy. Um, they were from the release that Tim Holtz did for the mica sprays, uh, snow flurries and winter berry. I don't know if you can get them anymore. If you can, I will definitely link it. Um, if you can't, then you'll have to use a different color of mica spray, but I think that they turned out really pretty. And then I did also flick on a little bit of milled lavender. It kind of gives you like a bleaching effect in the colors. And then I did add a little bit of water and then kind of blotted it off with my paper towel as well. And I did dry this as well. I just cut that part out because you've already seen me do that. So it's all the same. And then I brought in, this is a new stencil to me. I actually just purchased it. It's not new in the Tim Holtz line, but it's new to me. Uh, and it is, I believe it's the sparkling layer stencil. And I have some of the snowfall paste and I'm just kind of, it's the grit paste and I'm just putting it in a couple of different areas across this panel. And this is where I decided that this was not going to get cut up into anything different. This was going to stay as it is. And we were going to kind of change the direction that we were going. So I kind of had to think about that, but I brought in a piece of tonic pearl white cardstock. It's really, really pretty. And then I'm going to cut it with these lawn fawn stitched snowflakes. Um, some of this stuff I've had in my stash for a long time. So if I can't link it in the comments or in the um, description below, I will try to find something very similar to it. Um, but I mean, alternatively, use whatever you have. I mean, I like Shimmer and Shine. That's something that I get really excited about, especially in like wintry style cards. So I this is a very pearlescent cardstock, so it's quite shimmery. Um, but you could use just white cardstock. It, it really would still look beautiful. It would just um, not be as shimmery. So, I mean, use what you have if uh, if you can't don't or don't want to purchase anything that's totally okay um i am a big believer in using what's in your stash which is why i sometimes use older products um, because i want to use them because i have them um, and it did get a little bit stuck in that one corner there you saw me struggling to kind of get it out but i did get the snowflakes out and then i had to kind of figure out what the heck i was doing because now i changed my original plan so i brought in this is also a newer die set to me i haven't used it before and it is the Festive Alphabet dies, and that's that's a scrapbook.com exclusive. Um, and I cut out the word stunning uh, because when I looked at this background, that's what it made me think of. I just, I loved how pretty it came out. And honestly, as per usual, the camera does not do it justice, um, but it is really quite beautiful with a lot of shimmer from that mica spray. And just, it's just a really beautiful background. So I, I couldn't bring myself to cut it. So I, uh, I changed my mind into making this card that of course said the word stunning on it. So 
Um, I cut it out of white here, as you can see, and, and then you would have seen in the end picture that I actually changed my mind and went and did it out of a black cardstock. Yeah, it's a shimmery black that I really like to use, uh, just because I wanted it to have a little bit of a darker feel. And then I am going to make a five by seven card base. So here you can see I'm cutting down a piece of um, regular sized cardstock, like the eight and a half by 11, and I've cut it down to be um, 10 by seven, and then I'll score it at the five mark to make my five by seven card base. I also did trim off a little bit of this panel because I wanted to add that black in in a different area as well so that it kind of tied in together. I knew that I was going to bring in a strip, like a sentiment strip, to say the word your. Um, so I knew it was going to have black on it. So this is kind of where I ended up pivoting again because I had originally not thought to bring any black into this design at all um, but when I knew that I wanted to bring in that sentiment strip it was going to add black to the design so I chose just to take that a little bit further and bring in a little bit more darkness to it just because I thought it would be really pretty this background also would have made stunning um, galaxy I, and I pondered it as well, but then I didn't want to cover it up with a whole bunch of black. So I, I may have to make a card very similar to this and create a galaxy out of it and then maybe do ATCs with that. I think that'd be really cool, but that was not, not what I ended up doing, obviously. So I'm going to adhere my layers together here. Uh, and there's no great measurement to this. I honestly kind of just aimed for it to be um, about an eighth of an inch smaller than this black mat and I think that's about a quarter of an inch smaller than my eight or my five by seven base so there is a little bit of area there and then here's where you see that I've decided that I really want to add a uh, black letters instead of the white ones so I have all the white letters cut out as you saw me cut them out um, and then I went along and I cut all those letters out of that shimmery black cardstock that I have that I really like so I decided to cut them out again and I'm going to layer them up so from the side you kind of get this cool highlight effect um, from the letters because they are you know black on top but white on the bottom and generally you wouldn't do that uh, you would either do white on white or black on black so that you wouldn't have something kind of pull focus but I kind of liked that because uh, when I mat it on the base, you'll see that I have that white, right? So the white and the black kind of just complement each other, but the the biggest standout is still the background with all of its uh, really fun colors. So I like how this turned out, even though it was not what I intended to create when I sat down. Um, but I think that it came together really nice and it turned out really pretty. So I was pretty excited about it. And you can see here, I'm still using that uh, art glitter glue. Um, I have my barely art glue, although it's almost it's getting close to being empty, but I just, I don't know, it's sitting here. So I figured I'd, I'd use it a few times to get a feel for it and see uh, how I, if, how I liked art glitter glue, but it's very, very similar to my barely art glue. So really they're pretty inter, like you could use either way, whichever one you kind of prefer. And then I'm going to adhere this down onto my card base because the word is long uh, and kind of big. So I wanted to have it kind of overlap a little bit over the edges of the panel um, onto the card base. So you're going to see that as soon as we start to adhere it down. So I did line everything up. Uh, that took me a minute to get how I wanted stunning to go. And I really wanted it to be a portrait. You could have turned this and had it been landscape. I didn't want to do that um, just because I loved how the uh, snowflakes and the shimmers in the background were looking. And I really kind of wanted it to be a portrait card, but you could absolutely have done this landscape and then you would have had more space for the word stunning and you wouldn't have to have put it on the angle like I've chosen to do. But I just think it's fun and different. I mean, generally when I make stuff, everything's kind of straight. So this was kind of just a a really fun change and kind of a different challenge for me to create a card that I hadn't planned to create. Because usually when I make stuff, I, I know what I'm going to make. It's in my head. I can see it. And a lot of the time it comes out very close to what I see in my head. Um, but every once in a while, uh, this kind of happens where I just... I kind of create a background and then I grab things out of my stash that I think would be a lot of fun with what I've already created. So that's kind of what I've done here uh, just to do something a little bit different. So I was pretty excited about it. Uh, hard to believe that it is now 2023. Um, I'm actually recording and editing this on Saturday. So this is obviously uh, New Year's Eve. And, and when this goes up, it'll be Monday. So of course, it'll be the 2nd of January, but I'll be at work. <laughs> um, but I just, this year flew past for me. And it was um, 
in a lot of ways, it wasn't a great year for my husband and I. So uh, I'm kind of excited to start a new chapter and uh, just have a new year and kind of try to, you know, be on the positive side of, of everything. So if you guys have been checking out my uh, studio vlogs, I know there's only one so far, but um, I will have talked about wanting to open my store and that is my intention. Um, I'm hoping for February 4th, that is the uh, the goal that I'm aiming for to open and uh, we'll kind of go from there as we get a bit closer, but that is the aim of it. Um, but yeah, so I did take that little strip. You saw me cut it out and I put a little foam strip on the back, but for whatever reason, it wasn't adhering well to my, um, panel, the colored panel there. So I just added a little bit of glue onto the back of that little foam adhesive strip. And then I can just press it down with my reverse tweezers. Uh, and then I kind of cleaned up the little bit of glue just because the glue will react with the color that's on the background. So I kind of just went in with that to kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I brought in, these are Studio Katia satin blanc pearls they're new to me i uh i bought them when i got my crafty parcel if you guys watch that they were in that bundle on the top that i stuff of stuff i had purchased so i now have a cream pearl a white pearl and this is a satin white pearl satin blanc but blanc is white in french um pearl so i'm in love with these pearls they are stunning anyway i'm gonna hold it up here so you guys can check it out i'd love to know what you think of this card it's a bit different but i i'm so excited about it so i would love to hear what you guys think leave me a like leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already i do new videos every monday and thursday thank you so much guys and i will see you again very soon Bye bye for now